Hey folks, Jeff Gonzalez with Trident Concepts. I'm here at the range at Austin to do some more gear review. Today I'm working with the Bando bag. I really like this bag. The question is, will it be a good fanny pack option? So from our scoring system, it already ranked pretty high. I mean, it's in close contention for second, maybe even first place. It just depends on how the live fire stuff goes. I've done some dry fire with it. I've had to modify a lot of things. And again, I'm still, I'm still frustrated with how simple a ripcord method would be for just about any of the fanny packs I've come across. E even if you don't like it as a company, still putting in some of those loops, those bar tack loops that allow the end user to make that choice, I think is huge. I think it would be a major difference. I've seen some folks that have kind of already uh, jury rigged it so that it actually can be converted to a ripcord method which I think is smart, but that should also kind of be telling to the manufacturer that, okay, what's this gonna cost us to install those loops? I see they have loops installed for some of the minimalist holsters so that there's a retention and anchor point so that they can separate from the minimalist holster. But I think it would be better served to put those loops in the corners of the top of the lid so that folks can actually choose to use the ripcord method. I think it's a much faster, more consistent um, like draw stroke. There's a lot of features that I like about this pack. I do like all of the options that it comes with, big, the small, or I should say the normal, the extra large, but the closed loop system of the belt itself is awesome. I love it. All the other packs have an open-ended belt system and I'm like, kudos to these guys for coming up with a simple solution. It eliminates all that extra flap that you have there. I mean, you can roll it up into a, a keeper and I don't care, it's gonna, un it's gonna find itself out of those keepers and then now you're left to deal with all that bitter end. So I love the closed loop, I give them high praise for that. If it doesn't fit, the adjustment doesn't fit, they have an extension that allows you to you know, add more girth to it if you need it. Uh, one of the other features that I have come to like is the pull tabs here. These pull tabs, I didn't originally like them because I wanna just grab something you know, with a, a, like a, gross motor skill kind of thing, just grab it. I'm so used to that ripcord method. But what I'm doing now is I'm hooking it with my finger and it's, it's showing promise. One of the things that I was originally very excited about was this accessory loop that's in the lid of the pouch. Obviously you can put pretty much anything in there, but it's designed for a magazine. Well, I should say they market it as a tourniquet holder, but it's really designed for a magazine. And unfortunately, putting the weight of the magazine up there is proving to be a little counterproductive. It's putting a little bit of weight where I don't need it. So during the draw stroke, it's kind of putting extra tension on the zippers, making it a little bit harder to open. There's also another problem that I discovered that the, the, the actual gun compartment is very tight against the body. And every now and then, my, my clothing, my cover garment, is getting snagged in the zipper itself. And that's causing a new malfunction that I haven't seen before with any of the other packs. And partly because this thing does have, uh, you know, it's really tight against the body. So you'll probably see it a couple times during this video, just because during the draw stroke, I think out of 10, I got it to happen at least one time. Out of 10 reps, it was happening at least one time. I don't really think there's anything I can do. I mean, I can tuck my shirt in, but I don't always wear a tucked in shirt. And even then, I'm not sure that would actually fix the problem. So something to be aware of. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through our baseline cold test. So the baseline cold test starts at the 10 yard line. You have 10 opportunities to get seven clean runs. A clean run is gonna be on the signal draw and fire three rounds. The three rounds have to be hit inside the eight ring. And as long as they're inside the eight ring, that's good. Go ahead and record the first and last time there. And then what we'll do is we will um, delete the fastest and the slowest time and average out the remaining to give us our overall average for the draw time for first shot and overall shot or overall time for the three shots. Somebody asked why the three shots? Because again, I can teach a monkey to fire one round. That's not necessarily a really good indicator of the gear because if I don't get, I can shoot one round with a really crappy grip, but I have a hard time trying to shoot three rounds with a crappy grip. So if you don't get a good grip during the draw stroke, that's an important consideration for whether or not you want to use said gear. So that's the reason behind the three round baseline. All right, so here we go. Also, I had to move my timer again because it was 
continuing to get in the way. I'm gonna lower the tripod here so you guys can see a little bit more of the action. Perfect. All right, here we go. First run. Damn I. Oh. So again, one of the other problems that I see is that there's this spaghetti juncture right here. You can see I've got three pull tabs all in general vicinity. Which one am I grabbing? So um, I would probably like to see this one move to the other side. I think it's, it's less important to have it in the same vicinity as these guys. That would be a simple fix. That would just leave me with these two. Uh, and then these two, what ended up happening is I grabbed the bottom one, which started to pull both of them. Uh, basically, it kept it closed. Ugh, so frustrating. You're feeling my pain through the video, I'm sure. All right, here we go. Let's try that again. Stand by. All right. Well, not my best run, but we'll... Ah. Man. <sighs> All right, here we go again. Stand by. So one thing I have to do to make this work is I have to pull this zipper all the way to the other side. A lot of unnecessary movement. All right, here we go. So that is what I was talking about with the... Damn it, I shanked the shit out of one of those rounds. Let me close this up, because that is... Let's get our shit together here. Stand by. Actually, that was a little bit better. Ah, see? So there's the thing getting caught on the shirt. I know it's kind of hard to see it. I'll try to zoom in on it or... All right, let's try that again. So... Two things I'm picking up on. First, I'm getting my... Um, I'm getting, let me just write this score down, otherwise I'll forget it. I'm getting um, a little subconscious about making sure that I grab the right pull cord, so now I'm using my vision. During my drive fire, I got to the point where I didn't have to use the vision. I could actually just um, see, or not see, but I could just reach down, grab the right one. But after a couple of missed attempts, now my, my subconscious has wanted me to look, which has cost me a little time. It's distracted me from the target. I don't like it. All right, let's try it again. do that again I count I thought I counted right but oh that's right because I had that one I think I had another failure all right let me get another magazine all right actually that might have worked out with my favorite because I think that first shot went high yeah I see it it's up in the shoulder geez what the hell happened there good lord 
All right, let's try this again. Here we go. That was a good run. Ah, damn it. I originally grabbed that bottom one. Mm. That was better. Actually, I'm glad I did because I feel like I finished on a good note there. Ha! <laughs> Damn. That was the best run. I would like to have seen more like that. That would have been nice. Um, so run number seven or, all right, here we go. So let's head down and take a look at the target. I'll show you kind of what happened here. <laughs> so, ooh, I actually, damn it. So these were the two that I was talking about that were high in the shoulder. Then I had these two that I was like, oh, damn it, I thought those were in. So. Definitely not my best, um, definitely not my best performance there. And one of the things that I came to appreciate about just trying to work with the fanny pack, trying to get the fanny pack in the shot, one of the things that I've really started to appreciate about working with the fanny packs is that a lot of them look really good on paper and a lot of them actually score pretty good. But the moment you start to put weight in these things, there's some different dynamics. Like I said, I had to move the zipper all the way over to this side, and then I could get a cleaner access to the gun. Um, and, and you could see how with the weight of the magazine, how that kind of works. If I just kind of let it go all the way out, the magazine is actually helping to pull that lid down. I don't want to rely on that per se. I want to be able, whoa, oh, damn it. Ah, sorry. I want to be able, that's what happens when you run on these batteries, the batteries have to recharge after a little bit. I want to be able to actually just, I don't want to get, I don't want to have to use excessive action to gain access to my pistol. I want to be able to just pull it open and get it. So this has got promise. I don't think that my performance is the best indicator right now. I think it's still going to score well because we were averaging in the high like 2.9 with a 3.8 it looks like so overall so i think that's going to be faster than the vertex it won't be faster than the ess but it'll be faster than the vertex for sure and so that puts it probably in a solid second place as far as time is concerned but i believe that it's actually going to score a little bit higher now i'm going to do a full debrief on the pack itself and talk about all the features and all the you know all the things that i think are done really well and maybe talk about some of the things that i would hope to see improved so if you got questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Until the next time, folks, I'm Jeff Gonzalez. Stay safe or be dangerous. Adios.